Not far away, a woman carjacked on her own block. Tonight, the gunfire that landed two of her attackers in custody, and it wasn't from police. CBS 2's Chris Tye is outside 16th District Police Station, and Chris, it was a chaotic morning in Jefferson Park. And things happen quite quickly, Erica. Imagine this. This woman walks from her house to her car. Three sets of eyes locked in on her. Two of those sets belong to her carjackers. And the third, an individual who wanted to keep her safe, get her car back, and bring those attackers to justice. Is that a Nissan Rogue with window shot out? In the moments before the windows and side panels were shot out, the rightful owner, a 26-year-old female, was behind the wheel of her Nissan Rogue and carjacked. Based on the stickers, she drives Uber with it. But just after 7.15 this morning, the two rogue carjackers' plan hit a speed bump. He said he's holding a guy that tried to carjack his wife. A man police radio describes as the victim's husband, who himself carries a legal concealed weapon, watched this all happen and starts shooting the car after his wife exited it. And without injuring either thief, got them to stop, capturing one himself. I got him. He's not... Not cooperating right now. Send me a car. He is back there trying to hold the carjack offender who was uncooperative. In the hours that followed, the second would be caught. Uh, I got him in the southeast alley of Gunnison and Moody. He had the subject in the alley still. And because the shooter had that license, authorities say he will not be charged. The woman who owns that vehicle and the man police radio describes as her husband were brought here to police headquarters today to try to help with the investigation. The two suspects in this case have not yet been charged. Live on the northwest side tonight, Chris Ty, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Chris. For the fourth consecutive year, Chicago police are reporting a reduction in overall crime. The last statistics show 490 murders this year compared to 564 this time last year. Shootings are also down from 2,367 to 2,139, and police are getting more guns off the streets. There were more than 4,000 gun arrests this year compared to 3,700 last year.